Now, CBS News has learned tonight that a manhunt is underway for a traitor inside the Central Intelligence Agency. The CIA and the FBI are conducting a joint investigation into one of the worst security breaches in CIA history, which exposed thousands of top secret documents. Jeff Pegues is breaking this story tonight. The security breach involves the theft of CIA documents and hacking tools used to penetrate smartphones, smart televisions, and computer systems. Sources familiar with the investigation say it is looking for an insider, either a CIA employee or a contractor who had physical access to the material. The agency has not publicly said when the material was taken or how it was stolen. Much of the material was classified and stored in a highly secure section of the intelligence agency. Still, sources say hundreds of people would have had access to the material, and investigators are going through those names. The trove was published in March by the anti-secrecy organization WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks walks like a hostile intelligence service and talks like a hostile intelligence service. Just last week, in his first public comments as director of the CIA, Mike Pompeo railed against WikiLeaks and its founder, Julian Assange. It's time to call out WikiLeaks for what it really is, a non-state hostile intelligence service often abetted by state actors like Russia. WikiLeaks says it obtained the CIA information from former contractors who worked for U.S. intelligence. To this day, the CIA has not commented on the authenticity of the WikiLeaks disclosures or on the status of the investigation. CIA Director Pompeo has pledged fundamental change in how the CIA strengthens and secures internal systems. Scott, officially both the agency and the FBI had no comment on the authenticity of the purported documents or the status of the investigation. Jeff Pegues breaking this story for us tonight. Jeff, thank you.